Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the LEGO Factory Train Series. This is model number 14 and this is a trolley. An odd name because here in the UK we call trolleys the same thing you Americans call shopping carts. So, hmm, awkward. But this is quite a nice little model, I've got to be honest, it's very simple. But very good looking. It's got some nice curved details, it's got a nice roof thing going on there. Making use of those big windows, I'm liking that. Oh, I've I've missed a spot. Ah, uh, sorry, we'll keep going. Right, let's have a good look at this engine, shall we? Well, engine debatable. So at the front, again, like I mentioned, we do have some curved detail. I think I might try and take these off. Not breaking the poles above them. Oh, there we go. Skills. Right. It is very interesting because hang on a sec. Gotta make sure I've got a finger ready for focus. Here, focus. Come on, you got this. There we go. So this is built up quite interesting. I like this little idea of putting a one by one on the side using that little handle piece to connect to the back. That's pretty cool. It is stuck out in just such a way where this gap here from where this little brick ends up the kind of flat piece here. That is one stud long. Uh, one stud long. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's using these um, one and a third tool bricks, which I think is quite nice because the curvature is really good on them. It's a nice brick as a whole, and of course using those flat tiles to keep that smooth look. To where it sits, it's just got some flat tiles on a base plate, which is pretty cool. The base plate is good because it's not one of the ones where you have to build up from a bunch of tiles. It's a pre-made, well, proper coach style base plate, which I do like and very much prefer. I'll try and put this in without breaking anything. There we go, that's it. Excellent. Let's have a look at the wheels, shall we? Now, I will confess, I didn't do anything in the middle. There is supposed to be something there. But the instructions are not easy to read, so I thought, sorry, I'll go without. That's my choice. If you want to build this and put something in the middle, go ahead. Now, annoyingly, again, the wheels on both sides are supposed to be different. I have no idea why. It's got no reason to be. I think it's stupid for that to be the case. So I built up <coughs> so I built up one end and kind of replicated it for the other side. So we've got some good round pieces going on there. We've got um, some interesting detail and we've got the 1x6 or handbar? What would you actually call this? It's not exactly a fence piece because it's too low down. But it's quite interesting, nonetheless. I do like that piece. It's, um, you know, not over the top. It's really cool. You know, it's got some solid construction going on there. Some nice detailing as well. We've got the 1x4 piece that these small wheels would normally be attached to. So, using that for some extra details is also really nice. Liking that. Alright, which hole is this going to? We've got to find this out now. Yeah. So once again, it's the same on both sides, but the instructions don't have that that way, which is a bit annoying. Moving up towards the actual main bit itself, good news, inside is full of seats. Bad news, the roof doesn't exactly come off. I want to try and take off the centerpiece. It oh, shit, hang on one sec. Okay, there we go. So, again, not exactly the easiest thing ever. There are some flat tiles to be able to take off the um the roof bit in the middle but it's not exactly the best thing ever because of course it's got um more studs actually placed on the side like that and i'd rather there was another one of these like the one in front so i could easily just it's not like resting on anything i could just take it off with ease like that but i'm not too fast i suppose i mean it's not gonna be sticking around for long so we have a total of eight seats in here, which is pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure where the driver is supposed to be. I'm assuming he's supposed to stand on like this front bit here, like because you know there's a lever on well both ends in fact. So either one works. Definitely sit a lot of people in here. Of course, I've got plenty of space. We've got yard space next to the windows, which is pretty cool. I do like the staggered file as well. You can get a lot of people in like that. That's really clever actually. And yeah, seating-wise, this is one of the better ones I think the Factory Train Series has to offer. That's good stuff. Really good stuff. Right then, that is pretty much it. 
this is a nice little model but you know seeing as I care more about massive engines and rolling stock this isn't my type of factory model so to say but this is definitely unique and I'm looking forward to building the other trolley that uh, I think is like model number 30 or so like way towards the end not 100% sure I'll have to double check that but it does look good and yeah I will actually leave it there now so thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already I will see you all in the next episode bye bye